Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about things to flip for profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And I think some of these may surprise you. Uh, some of these, I was like, wow, that sold for that much? And Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle always has some interesting bolos. And this one is uh, the one where she actually shared based on the timeline of the comments. So you're going to see some of her bolos in here. I know you guys always look forward to those. Make sure you're following Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle on YouTube. And she started back up her live show. So definitely give that a follow. So what I do is I invite you guys to share a bolo item and put in the comments where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. You can use a screenshot or a link. A link helps me because I can show the photos, but um, a screenshot is completely fine. I know the link is kind of hard to find. Also, please shout out any social media or that to include YouTube or um, selling platforms. If you sell them whatnot, you can put that. Just put it in the comments for a mention in the video when I share your bolo. All right. Let's start here with the first one. And this is Picker Money Flipper. Let's see. Here we go. Here is the first one. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper on YouTube and eBay. She said, I paid $5 for this veil at a church sale and it sold for $85 plus shipping. It is a vintage veil, a wedding veil, guys, headpiece. And it's from the 1920s or 1930s. Oh my goodness, how on earth do you um, figure out when something was, what era? I am not good at that. The next one, this one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. And if you guys do not follow Cat Feel and Thrifty on whatnot, you definitely need to follow her. She does bring a lot of her Juliana over to um, whatnot. And she has low starts and you can snag a good deal. So if you like jewelry and you like vintage jewelry, the stuff that Cat brings over to her whatnot, I just can't even believe it. I'm like, oh my goodness. But this one she did put on eBay, probably because it was a set. And we do have to feed our eBay guys. We do have to feed it. Otherwise, uh, your sales tank if you don't feed, if you don't feed the eBay beast, right? So she said vintage Juliana D and E blue navette flower rhinestone necklace and clip on earrings. This is a beautiful set. She said she bought it off a lady in her home area for six dollars. She said, almost fainting, realizing it was a Juliana. Took a best offer of 135. She said, I could have held out for more, but wanted more sales for the month. So yesterday, she sent me a picture of something, um, some earrings that she was getting ready to put on eBay. And she's like, I can't find anything like it. And she messages me like a half an hour later. She's like, they were listed for 10 minutes and sold for full price. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what is the number one Bolo Buddies rule? If you can't find another one like it, put it up for auction. Oh my goodness. But anyway, she said she was happy with the quick flip. And she may... Who knows if she had the collectors in the house, she may have gotten more on whatnot even. Uh, sometimes you can get a crazy bidding war on whatnot. It doesn't happen very often because a lot of the buyers are resellers looking for a good deal that they can flip the items. And her vintage stuff, you guys, my link, my referral link down below will get you $15 to shop on whatnot if you join with that referral link. And definitely go follow Cat Feel and Thrifty number one. If you want to see some beautiful jewelry and just watch number two, if you're looking for things to resell, because a lot of her beautiful items go for $5. And sometimes I watch in disbelief because they are just beautiful items. So a lot of, um, a lot of pieces that you could collect or use for personal use, but also that you could flip to resell. So check us both out on whatnot. And also a shout out to lucky day living and flipping friends and seems so vintage. They are my mods as long as, as well as Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, who I also mentioned earlier. But um, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel hasn't been on whatnot lately, but you can definitely follow her for when she comes back. But check us all out over there. It's a great place to buy things to resell. I will tell you that. Okay. So yeah, the Juliana, what do you guys think? Do you think she could have sold it for more? I feel like she could have sold it for more. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. Wow. And it's a set. All right. Definitely be on the lookout for Juliana. Juliana, there's different things. They are not signed. There's different things to look for, like puddling. I am not very good at identifying it. I usually send things to Kat or I just totally have no clue. One day I was doing an untangling on whatnot 
and I pulled a bracelet out and everybody's like, it's Juliana. I'm like, all right, well, I'm starting it at $5. <laughs> I have no idea, you guys. So I just throw my jewelry in a pile, do an untangling, and we have a lot of fun over there. So I hope you guys will come hang out. This here is super, super cool. Of course, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. Uh, sh she priced it high and look, look at it. Just look at it. She said, okay, Courtney, um, I bought both of these one in colors and one in shapes at an estate sale, approximately 60 cents each. Sold to the same buyer for full price for $99.98 for both. They were all in for $121.26. Took 19 days. Got to look in the sewing room closet, people. <laughs> she calls us people. Hey, you people, look in the sewing closet. So here's the first one. It's a sewing panel. What? A sewing panel, guys. A hundred bucks, almost a hundred dollars for the two of these. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Would you have walked past it? I don't know. All right. This one comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. Also, it is a George Good musical wind-up doll moving head. Santa Claus tag, 1983. She got it at a church rummage sale for $2 and sold on one of her markdown sales for $33.38 plus shipping. And the next one also comes from Cat Feel and Thrifty. She said her husband's sorting through his dad's estate items and came across this cool item free to her for selling. Took a best offer of 50. She said she shared the money with her husband. It's a vintage Weston model 341 volme voltmeter original wooden case. I have no idea what this is, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> what do you do with that? What do you do with that? The next one, Farm Girl Scavenger Noel, Disneyland 40th Anniversary Collector Series Complete Set 41 Cards 1995 Skybox. Here you go, guys. She said, I've had these for a hot minute. Okay, years. However, they were unlisted, just sitting in the big old profit pile, and they did not disappoint. Listed in March and sold August 1st for an offer to watch her for $158.38. Uh, she said she believes she paid $1.00. A single schmackaroony <laughs> for them. And she said, find me at, on the Weird Stuff channel. Just kidding. Find me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatnot, District and Mercari, Farm Girl Scavenger, Noel. Here is the next one. Okay, not sure how to really go about this one. I picked up about 20 of these, maybe more. Can't remember. It was a lot. Anyhow, picked these up at an estate sale. First day, knew who the artist was because I have paintings and Christmas ornaments of this artist. The customer who purchased this one for $22.38 also purchased six more for a total of $156.98 for all seven. They were all in for $236.20 with shipping. So you can see here it is a Barbara Lavalli. La 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 I don't know. Trivet tile. It's a trivet tile, guys. And there it is. So one sale turned into many by having multiples listed and they just ordered um, more than one. This is an empty box, just a silly little box, remember, but the weird stuff. This came in the lot of stuff I got from the vintage Barbie I sold last month. So honestly, I have nothing into it. Maybe 10 cents. Listed high and took an offer of 35 plus shipping. It was out the door for 41.15 and got positive feedback. This box is literally... 4.25 inches tall. So it's just a little box. That's easy to ship. There you go, guys. Used boxes. People are looking for them. They need them for their dolls. This is a rare 1970s MCM Peter Max psychedelic pop art doves cut sheet fabric quilt. She said, yep, I used the R word. What's the R word? Rare. Oh yeah. She never uses the word rare. She hates the word rare. <laughs> I'm like, what's the R word? Yeah, she will not use it. So it must be rare. She said, I paid 69 cents roughly for it. Same sale as the other fabric. This is a bed sheet that was cut up. If you aren't familiar with Peter Max, you need to be. Anyway, listed crazy high, took an offer of 85, all in 97.25. Scroll through the photos and you will be laughing so hard. Okay, you guys, this is, oh, look at that. Look at her go. Crease mark. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, you guys, can you believe it? What on earth? That took a long time to list, but she knew it was a big money bolo. That is so unexpected, right? So she just did a video on these handmade ornaments. So go check that out on her YouTube channel. Vintage Brasil 
Bucilla. <laughs> I wanted to put an R in there. Cinderella four felt jeweled sequin Christmas ornaments. I have sold the Christmas ornaments before. They are definitely a bolo. She said last one promise, LOL. That means she might post another one because sometimes she lies. Uh, so same estate sale as the fabric purchased a lot of stuffage there. I ended up getting 461 total items for 275, leaving her at 60 cents cost of good for per item. Wow. Now that said, 300 of them were mostly Bucilla ornaments and a few other names that are big and felt ornament game, such as Leeward, Paragon, etc. I will tell you, if I found 300 of these, I would be like jumping for joy. These are definitely a bolo. She said, I've already sold three sets of ornaments, nine of the 300 for $136. I have 64 live listings and 14 more to finish up, which is a total have netted me 81 listings, give or take a few dollars of, for offers. I should make approximately 4,600 in total for my total purchase of 180, which by the way, is one sale away from being pure profit. Okay, I'm mathed out. Just mate. Maybe just maybe these are a bolo, but I've sold them before. Here is one of the sold listings for $64, all in $75.94 shipped. Awesome. All right. This one is a Kenneth Cole green plastic bead bib, 1980 signed statement toggle necklace. Bought in a box for $33. I had already made back my money on the lot. Got full asking price. Um, I can't see. Oh, $149. It's down at the bottom of the picture. $149 for that, guys. And it's just plastic. Just plastic. I love plastic. The next item is this Mattel Barbie Signature Doll Limited Hijab. I don't know how to say that. Uh, she's a, a Barbie. <laughs> it's a Barbie. Found this while doing rummages on Saturday afternoon. Paid five and sold for 95 plus shipping in a couple of days. Always keeping my eye out for Barbies that are in the box that I don't see very often. So five into 95. Yep. Yep, definitely be on the lookout. Some Barbies can definitely be a bolo. Uh, Billboard's top 10 charts, Joel Whitburn. Uh, I have a knack for finding decent books based on odd subject matter. Picked up this book along with five similar other books for 25 cents each at a rummage sale in July. I've already sold two of the books. This one for $39.99 and another book for $29.99 in a couple of weeks. I have three more listed. When they all eventually sell, I will have turned $1.50 into $150. No complaints here, especially considering books are very easy to list and ship. This last one surprised me. I've never heard of flax clothing. I paid two for this linen top and sold for $42.98 after a few days. I mean, it just looks like a simple shirt, right? Just a simple shirt. This one says vintage lawn wear MCM hanging patio camp 10 string light string bead flower pots. The, you guys, these are pretty big. Um, I have actually sold these individually and I want to say I sold them between 30 and $50 a piece, but mine were single shades. So they each had their own plug. This is a string. So this would definitely be hard to ship. These, like I said, are pretty big. She said, I volunteer at a thrift store and we can purchase items the same as any other shoppers. I bought this set of lights for $5. The one in the middle didn't work. So I didn't know if they would sell, but the comps were good. They sold pretty fast for the full asking price of $125. I don't sell a lot anymore, but I'm trying to get back into it. I sell under the name Kathy's Attic on eBay. So I think these are the same size as the ones I sold. They're pretty big, guys. So anyway, definitely a bolo. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.